Hey folks, Jihondo here, and welcome back to Auction Not Included. This is episode 78. In the last episode, we got this little oil pit dug out. I can't make it perfect, because of course there is this silly volcano here, but we'll ignore that. But anyway, so we have a nice pit for any oil we gather in, to just to kind of pool, and it can be pumped out from here when, when it's done. That gets pumped up here. We over... I've lost where it is. Here. Uh, so we have some reservoirs here, one for the crude, goes into the oil refinery, and back out to the petrol. That then gets hauled down here, petrol generator, very good. So having gotten all of that, we now of course need oil. Somewhere in here I have or had some slicksters. I don't see them, so they may have gotten out, I don't know. I don't know where they went, I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Either way, we are headed over here today, where I've already queued up. Well, this still isn't even all of it, but this is the vast majority of the work necessary. So yeah, we are going to pop over there and get that going. That is not the right teleporter. That's the right teleporter. Yeah, we can definitely do that faster. Wherever you are. Might be sleepy time. No, it's not sleepy time. Oh, there you are. Okay, there we go. So yeah, so you have a staggering amount of work to do. But that's okay. <laughs> You don't mind being busy, right? But yeah, so just to run through here, because it's now been a couple days since we've looked at this. Basically, uh, we're, we're bringing oxygen in here, so there's always a safe place to breathe. We're bringing water in. We have this reservoir. The water will be piped down all the way we into here for our oil reservoir. Or excuse me, oil well. Uh, at some point, I then will need to pipe its, like pump and pipe its outputs back into wherever the teleporter out is there. So, that shouldn't be too bad. But I didn't want to open this up because of all this disgusting water. But of course, building that completely did, so there you go. <laughs> That's okay. It's not bedtime. Where are you? Oh, you're up here working on that. Okay. Yeah, you just got an absolute staggering amount of work to do. In all reality, I probably should send multiple people over, but there's no actual food production here, so the only food we have is what was already in that ration box and then whatever shard hearts we've been pushing across. I suppose there is food on the map. So I'm sure some of that's edible, but... Either way, so if I open that up, I'll let some of this liquid thin out a little bit. And that might make it a little bit easier to mop, maybe. Maybe not, but... Okay. Well, maybe we won't worry so much about the water in there. Let's try and get some of this going here. Yeah, you may not be willing to mop this. some of this junk out first place so we don't contaminate all the oil I mean ultimately I suppose I could just put a filter on it it wouldn't be the end of the world it's just quite annoying <laughs> but 
Maybe I should do it properly to actually put a filter on it anyway. So where am I going to actually put that? Um, that and where am I going to dump any... I guess we can just dump excess water up here that doesn't fit. Okay, yeah, that's okay. We can work with that. Okay. over here somewhere, it doesn't terribly matter where. Okay, that's the water out, so the oil's coming back. I don't know which side it's going to be on yet, so for now let's assume it's going to be down here somewhere. basically are only ever going to be wanting oil and any junk stuff can just basically go have to go this high, really, but it's fine. Don't have enough of that either. Don't have a lot of materials happening here. <laughs> I have to do these in groups, I guess. do those builds. Now the actual um, filter is going to need power as well, so. so you're going to have to run on the wheel once in a while, I'm afraid. And then yeah, we can just put a pump down here somewhere for gathering up all this oil. Which is even more work for you, but that's okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, it also will mean more power, but I don't think that can be helped. Just don't have enough materials to be building stuff here. That'll have to do. That will have to do, I guess. sorting this anyway, then it's no longer as big a deal if this stuff mixes, so go ahead and just do it all. It's fine. Don't worry about these mops. It's not gonna happen. We're not gonna worry about them. Yeah, I sure queued up a lot of work down here. <laughs> that is for sure. That is absolutely for sure. Okay, so you are going to be filtering for crude. And printables. I'm not sure what I'm after, but I'll be back with something. And we're back. I'm just going to grab some food for the asteroid. Nothing really jumped out at me in the... I didn't spend a super long time looking, but nothing really jumped out at me in the time I did look, so we'll just grab that. That'll be fine. You just seriously trapped yourself. Igneous rock we have available.
Oh, you weren't trapped. What, you were just standing there. Why were you just standing there? What were you doing? <laughs> oh, maybe it was break time. It just seemed like... I just thought for sure you were trapped. But no, you were really just hanging out. Okie dokie then. Mine is not to reason why. There we go, there's a good pile of oil. And unfortunately pea water as well, but a good pile of oil. sleeping there. Are you actually trapped? You have a bedroom here. Oh, I think you have been trapped. Okay. That'll get you a path back, I think. Yeah, I think something melted and fell here and blocked this off, I think is what's happened. Or maybe it's this bit here or something. Either way, I think that's what's happened. Yeah, stuff fell here. Some of this dirt, probably. And that locked you off from your proper bedroom. Got it. That does make some sense. Do we want fossils? And turn them into lime, right? Yeah. Maybe we want these. So I don't see any other reason to keep them here. Because, you know, you aren't busy enough yet. because that's not done yet. I was going to try to figure out why it was saying there was a problem there when it didn't look like there was, but there is a problem there. We've got lots and lots and lots of fossils. Can I have the actual loader, please? Thank you. I think that's enough fossils. We'll worry about the rest later. Let's get some other work done here. That does mean we can come over here and bash those. And we'll actually have some wine. So that the next time I want steel, it can happen. Which should be nice. That will sure be nice. Okay, so yeah, when you're on break, you really just stand there, no matter where you are, or how silly you feel. And you want some air, why don't you come on up here, where there's stacks and stacks and stacks of air. Or maybe I just send you back and we call that enough for this pass. You certainly did a pretty good job out here. Still a lot to do, but... Have 
to redo that outhouse the next time you do come, so that's even more work. I don't suppose you'd want to, like, follow my orders or anything, right? No? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. a pretty good pass. Oh, how are we doing on rad bolts? Did we ever get any in here? We do. Not even enough for one tile yet, but that at least means that rebuilding all this part has not broken anything. Um. Um. Where are my rad bolts? <laughs> we didn't like have a meteor or anything. Like I was pretty sure we don't have meteors. Yeah, no, we don't have meteors. So how did those get destroyed? What is happening here? Is there something breaking on the save load? Don't get it. I just don't get it. Okay, that's just bizarre. <laughs> God, I came and checked that. That's nuts. That's just nuts. I, mean, I guess technically that saves some battery for a while, but that's not great. <laughs> that is definitely not great. But I also wonder how long they've been like that. Clearly the, they have been running, because we do have some rad bolts, but how long have I been without? Very, very weird. I just don't get it. But okay. I will take it then. The game is just toying with me. You have put that tile in finally, so this reservoir is usable now. I'll say there's nothing in it yet, but it is at least usable. Which I think means we can kick this pump on. And finally get some of that crude up here. Much of it, obviously, but some. Which in turn means you should now have access to it. Yep. So at some point, somebody will come here. Seriously, you walk in, you spin one dial, and you walk out. <laughs> okay. Well, that was seriously enough to generate... That one spin generates 20 kilograms of petrol. That's, uh, that's very efficient. <laughs> that seems very efficient.
That's a neat little machine. I mean, obviously it didn't do much because it was not running very long, but still, it's a neat machine. Yeah, that's it for oil at this point. Oh, I guess now that we have at least queued up the oil inbound, we can get the piping in for later when it actually has some to send, but... jog around that. Um, but yeah, I guess we just cut straight across, right? Yeah, just cut straight across here. And this doesn't really matter where the output is. Back to this. I might even just put it here. This is all mesh tile anyway, so I can just leak down. Yeah, that'll work. And then I don't have to mess about with bridges or anything. Should be nice. Cool. Well, I do want to know what happened to my slicksters. Is it, like, too cold in here? Well, maybe it is. I was looking at them, and I think they wanted, like, 35 degrees or something. Yeah, maybe it's just too cold down here. And this side's warm enough, but maybe it was just too cold for them. That's unfortunate. Well, I really don't want to crack that open for the heat, but <laughs> the heat goes nuts pretty quick. Oh, I feel bad that I killed, and killed them off. Hmm. I suppose one option is I could get rid of these warts, and let them live up here. And once these are gone, this should heat up pretty quick. This does. This section really doesn't need to be particularly cold. I'm not super worried about it. I was just mostly trying to make sure that heat from here didn't slowly migrate up here, but not super worried about it. So maybe I will just take these warts out. And in fact, we could probably take the oxy out as well because I want carbon dioxide here anyway, so... mesh tiles in here so any oil they make can flow down. That will be good. Alright, so printables. Alright, I'll find something. I'm going to try and find slicksters if I can. If I can't, it's not a big deal, but I'm going to try and find them. Anyway, I'll be back. Alright, there we go. Just a single one this time, but it is already hatched, so we don't at least have to wait for that. So we will go ahead and move you straight down here. We need to get rid of this wart with some haste. So that this has time to heat up. look like it's taking any damage or complaining about the temperature, so it must be close enough. Or maybe that only applies when they're adults. Maybe when they're larvae they're allowed more temperature range. I'm not sure. Well, I do not know, but either way... 
That will be some passive, if microscopic, oil production for us. Cool. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to call things there for today, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. It really does help. Other than that, we'll catch you in the next one. Have a good one. See ya.